So hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Lisa's Cottage. Oh my goodness, it's been a wild and crazy ride the past six weeks, right? My heart goes out to all of those affected by the coronavirus. Uh, this pandemic has really been heartbreaking. My heart breaks for those victims and those families that have lost loved ones, jobs, um, and my heart goes out and I am grateful for each and every person that is in the front line. It really causes you to stop and think um, what life is about or what life should be about. Able to refocus. There's been times that I wanted to film but felt um, best that I not. And Ken mentioned the other day, it's been a long time since you have made a video as well as one of our viewers had um, left a comment asking where I was and you all needed a video. And it, ever since my Christmas video, when I post replies or when I reply to your comment, it shows up right away. And then when I go back to the comment section, it's um, no longer there. And I have replied to comments over and over and over the same comment from the Christmas video and the last video that I had shared after the Christmas home tour. And those comments are not there. So I've tried, uh, I've tried replying by my phone, by my laptop. I don't know what's going on. I had gotten a question about the Kasori tea kettle and replied to it. And when I go back, it's gone. The gentleman had asked me, was it stainless steel on the bottom? And from what I can tell and what I think, yes, it is. Uh, I get quite a bit of views on that one video there. And to be honest, I'm not even thinking about it. Usually by this time in the new year, I'm all excited and getting revved up for my Christmas home tour since all this has taken place. I've not really thought a lot about it, even though it's only, what, March? I mean, April, even though it's only April. These two girls have been with me. I did the two weeks self quarantine and then the stay home order was issued. So that is due to be lifted here in Tennessee the end of the month, but areas are slowly opening back up. So I've not been out of the house six weeks except for one day a doctor's appointment and all of us were being seen outside in our cars with our mask on and uh, the medical my doctor and nurses mask as well and before this happened i traded my lincoln for a sports car i went back into a sports car if you are um, on instagram you would have already seen I've that washed it once and it's only been on the road twice since getting it and i've had the top down once I'm taking this stay home order very serious. The girls have not been to daycare even though they remain open. Uh, I just wanted to cut all the risk down of if I were to be a carrier, taking it to others, or um, if someone there were to have it, I wouldn't want to put Ken at risk, him picking the girls up from daycare. So I've just kept them home and they are on my last nerve. <laughs> And I'm on their last nerve. This little girl has been getting herself into a lot of trouble. This little girl has become more possessive than ever. So I hope she does well when it's time to reintroduce her to the daycare and being socialized around other dogs and humans. So I thought I'd just pick up the camera today. See if I could capture a few things. Yesterday, the weather, mm -hmm. they said if you are wanting to do things outdoors and enjoy the lovely weather to do so on Monday and I did just that. And I tell you, I was exhausted and slept like a baby last night. So I got out here and mowed the back area. And you can tell the girls have been home every day for six, seven weeks. I think I'm going into seven weeks because the grass 
is having a hard time um, filling in and there's a lot of dirt and mud areas because they're home every single day and we're out here running them every single day. So I got a lot of work done out in the back area here yesterday mowed. I had to cut down some flowers that were already blooming from itty bitty thinks flowers are to play with. And then I did all the weed eating back here inside the fence. Let's go out the other door, Soapy. Mindy, come on. Let's go out this door. I like to always put them out this side. There you go. Because they like to sit on this side. Put that in the dishwasher. There's a bird nest there and the girls have been jumping down into my bed. But actually, even though we're on each other's last nerve, they have been way better. Let me shut that squeaky door. They have been way better than I thought they would be with this stay home order with me. I'm like, I know you're tired of looking at me, aren't you? been handling our groceries is they've been uh, delivering to us we do a Kroger sometimes we do a Kroger order and then sometimes we do our Walmart it took us forever to get a Walmart slot but we now can get Walmart slot slots and we will like go ahead and do the order several days ahead even a week ahead of time schedule of time so we can get that slot booked because they have been crazy busy completely understand Many orders have come in without the things that we ordered. Completely understand. Girls have got to where they think they need to sit here and watch everything that's going on outside. So I just left the blonde up and there's a lot of nose prints all over the glass. But things will get back to our new normal at some point. So I'm not, I'm not sweating it. A lot of whites and towels to do. I've been washing our clothes. As soon as Ken gets in, he will actually remove all his clothes out in the garage and I put them straight in the sanitized washing. And I put my gloves on first before handling them. So I've gone from a luxury car back into a sports car. And I absolutely love it, love it, love it. I'll share more when I pull it out of the garage here. But I feel like this car is literally hugging me. I call it my one big hug. She's tiny, she's mighty, and she's cute. So I purchased this seven, eight weeks ago before the pandemic. Well, actually, on the 14th and I believe President Trump declared the pandemic on Friday the 13th because I was actually getting my nails done when that took place and then the next day is when I went and tried in my car for this car but we had been talking to two dealerships about it and so we drove a little over an hour away Looked at it, loved it, I pulled it out of the garage to get a better view. And as you can see, I have the top down. You'll hear Sophie and Itty Bitty back there barking. There's someone next door giving us a quote on a pole barn. We're hoping to move the business to our property. That's what we're hoping to do. It's the keyless, the start and stop button to start the engine. My AC and heat knobs. And then I have a little control panel here that will, I'll go get my key. Well, I'll go get my, <laughs> Bob and start it and show you what this little button here in the middle does and I can also control my volume at the steering wheel as well as my cruise control and then 
for my lights, high beams, and then my wipers. And again, this is a two-seater. I'll put the uh, top up so you can see, and it's just super easy breezy to put the top back up. Again, it's not automatic. All manual. Hold that button there to unlatch it. A handle here and there that you put your fingers in to push it back. And I just went ahead and got out to show you. And then you push it back. And it gets back down. That easy. Locked in place. You heard it lock into place. So I went ahead and went in and grabbed my fob so I can start the engine. And then for the storage in here, I have a little glove box here. And so you have to get very creative with your storage because it's, it's not a car that has a lot of storage. So you have to be creative and very intentional. I have in my storage compartment. Let me see. I have, so I have a bag of gloves, disposable gloves hand sanitizer and hand sanitizer antibacterial wipes are actually just small sheets of soap and often i have used my water bottle to rinse my hands off when i've been out and not able to get to a sink and when i told ken about these um he's like oh yeah i've seen those i've used them and i'm like i have never heard of them and now I will probably always keep one with me. And it's just actually little sheets of Not soap. sure if you can tell, but the bottom you just slide forward like a little drawer and it will let one little a slice of paper, slice of soap slide out. See how thin it is? And it works really great too. Got those from Amazon. And I don't do any linking, I just like to share where I get stuff from. Just put it there back in my bag. What else do we have in a here? A pair of glasses that I'll keep in the car at all times. Even though I carry sunglasses in my purse, I will keep an extra pair of sunglasses here in the Umbrella. car. Another pair of glasses. When I have my contacts on, I need um, readers. When I have my distant contacts on, which I, which I do have my distant contacts in when I'm driving. And then I need readers in order to be able Charger to. Charger that I've never had to use. A handful of tissues that I took out of a black. package. A small black garbage bag, just a small bag um, to put my disposable gloves in and tie up and throw away when I get to a trash can or home. My Fiat book. And I've put a few things in there, an ink pen in case I need it, like in case there were an accident, same thing with the pad. I have a pad in there if I had to take down information. And of course my registration, car registration and uh, for my tags and whatnot. So all of this stuff here really does fit in this little cubby hole. So there it is, all back in its place and closed back up. However, there's more storage in here. Yeah, and yet another storage area. There is to, you pull it up to bring the seat forward to get into the storage area. Same thing over here behind the driver's seat. Put your fingers in that little slot and pull it forward. trunk release here as well as on my key fob. What do we have in our trunk? Well, <laughs> quite a bit for such a small space, right? That's a trash bag with a tissue compartment. I have my antibacterial wipes and I just restock those when I run out. Here, more of those black small garbage bags if I need more. My fire extinguisher is for dusting. And you know it will get dusty with the top down. More antibacterial wipes, ice scraper, snow scraper, emergency kit. And the Fiat doesn't the Fiat 124 Spider does not have a spare tire. However, it has the tools for me to put 
um, air in it in order to get to a safe place to get a tire or to get home or to get somewhere that I can park the car until I can get a tire put on. That's what that is right there. Let me show you the size of uh, the trunk here by pulling this And out. we have another ice scraper that I could probably take that out since there's one in my bag that I just removed there. And this garbage can, it was in my Lincoln. It went around the back of a seat. My jumper cables. And I have a bag here if I have a passenger that wants to put their items, such as their, maybe their iPhone, their keys, wallet, whatever they have on them, that um, they wanna keep as much space available up in the passenger seat. I have packing cubes for myself or my passenger. And then this will just slide under the front seat. And I have two, one for myself and one for them. And it's not that I can't wait till I get home or somewhere to get a snack. Sometimes can get squeezy and shaky, like, like the sugar may have dropped. And I like to carry a couple of um, peanut butter crackers for him. So here's the size of the trunk. I need to vacuum it out. Or better yet, I will probably use my blower and blow it out. And I guess you can guess why this car doesn't have a spare tire. There would be nowhere to put it. And never underestimate your blower. Does it look cleaner? Somewhat? A lot? Yep, I took the blower to it. And I keep this side empty to put my purse in. And this slot here, my purse fits perfectly in. And of course I would put it back here if I have a passenger. If not, it would just go up in the front seat with me. So there is the top trunk. cover that I have, Amazon. And I do believe they have, um, fobs with different make and model cars. Like if you had a Ford Mustang, I believe you could get one like this. And it just unzips and I have it attached to a small chain in there. And there's the uh, key fob, the fob. It's to help keep your fob in good condition as well as not pushing something by accident if you have it in your pocket or your purse. And you just tuck it in and you just zip it back up. I forgot about the cup holders. They, there's one cup holder and I have been the passenger in the car and it kind of gets in the way. So if I have a passenger, I will remove it. And then there's one back here. And you can remove both of them. But if I'm in the car alone, I'll just use this one. I always have a bottle of water on me. So I need a place to put my water clean. 